and the Baillieu government may further cut payments to householders who generate their own solar energy for the state's power grid. The payment was cut by more than half earlier this year and a draft review of the scheme has recommended it should be scrapped altogether by the end of next year. The review by the state's competition watchdog has found the scheme is pushing up electricity prices for other energy users. The days of Victorian householders using their solar rooftop panels as a money spinner appear to be numbered. It's very hard to justify why you'd have over generous subsidies for rooftop solar which is paid for by people who are struggling to pay their quarterly electricity bills. From 2009, householders with solar panels were paid 60 cents a kilowatt hour for any surplus energy they fed back into the electricity network. That payment was slashed to 25 cents earlier this year. Now a draft report by the Victorian Competition and Efficiency Commission says those payments to new customers should stop altogether by the end of next year and be replaced with a market-based system where electricity companies decide the price they pay, likely to be between 6 and 8 cents. Once they've scrapped this payment, it'll simply be whatever you can negotiate with your power company and as we know, they're pretty hard to deal with. We certainly look forward to this report as being a basis for further discussion uh, and we'll uh, receive the final report in July. One program confirmed for the chopping block is the troubled hospital IT system HealthSmart. The Health Minister is scrapping the rollout of the project after massive cost blowouts and flawed implementation under the previous Labor government. What we're saying is that we're not going to throw good money after bad. HealthSmart will remain at the four health facilities where it's already in place, but other facilities will be free to choose an alternative IT provider. I think what we've had today is a brand name change, and what, uh, what that provides the government with an opportunity is to give uh, the previous Labor government a whack. And on the federal stage, internal Liberal Party tensions have again spilled over. The Victorian Division has launched an investigation into a bitter pre-selection battle for the ultra-marginal seat of Karangamite. There have been allegations of a dirty tricks campaign as part of an acrimonious contest between two Liberal nominees, the 2010 candidate Sarah Henderson and former Howard Government adviser Rod Knuckles. Francis Bell, ABC News, Melbourne.